Hey world, Jessica Kirsch here, and I'm feeling pretty sexy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I, I uh, you know, I've got yoga pants on, I've got some dirty tennis shoes, I've got this jacket on, and I have a tank on underneath, and then my hair just looks awesome. Oh my God, it looks so good, look at it. Just makes me wanna swing it around. And um, I'm feeling pretty fabulous. Fab, fab, blah, 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 blah. fabulous. Anyways, I am here with a friend of mine. His name is Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is, uh, he's a really cool guy and he's got a really great story and he's got a lot of stuff to say. And he's contemplating starting his own YouTube channel. He's done some stuff in the past. Uh, he lived over in Bali for a while. Um, he's from Minnesota, so he's got Midwest values, I think, right? And I just wanted to bring him out and just do a little bit of shooting with him today to um, maybe get him sparked and just get his YouTube channel started. So here we go. We're going to just walk around and just talk and I don't know. We'll see what happens. So here we go. This is fine. It's the walk and talk, huh? We're just walking and talking. And you have a gimbal? Not a gimbal. I have a, a DJI. Yeah. Osmo 2 mobile. And it doesn't make a difference? I don't love it because it is very rigid. Um, I prefer kind of this handheld thing because then I can get low, I can go up, and with that I have to push a button. And then oftentimes I hit it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And so then it really interrupts Goes the video yeah, yeah. yeah so it's isn't it a nice day hard to beat this weather it is beautiful right yeah yeah so you should get a do you have any apps that fix the color that yeah. set it no I, I i mean yeah but i don't take that time right now it's really just about it Everyone's like, get an ND filter, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, shit. No, I have a, like a $5 app and you can just, you can fix the, so it doesn't change that. Oh, it really? doesn't change the, the, you can, the white, ba or white, white balance. Yeah. I don't know enough about cameras. Can you hold it for a little bit? Yeah. I'm just tired. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God. You're so much better. Good job. Yeah. So, okay. Jeremiah. So we're here in. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona. What's the park? We are at McDowell Mountain. Actually, this is called Gateway Trailhead. Uh. So but it's in the McDowell Mountain Regional Park, which is ginormous. You should do a pan. I'll have to do it with you, though. Go. <laughs> we are attached. <laughs> Microphones are attached. So we had to do that together. That was pretty funny. See, that kind of stuff, you can't make that stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> That's realistic. So there's tons of little trails and there's like a little discovery center. Ooh, oh, that's what happens to the tash mics. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this and you keep keep the eye out for snakes. All right, I can do that. Have you ever come across a snake here? No, no, I don't find a lot of snakes. They say there's actually cobras in Bali, but I've never seen one. So oh. I've been lucky to not run into rattlesnakes either yeah. here. Well, they they stay to themselves unless you know they only unless they feel threatened um the first in the first month of living here i saw two rattlesnakes intertwined <laughs> i guess it's a mating ritual they do but it's two men that are fighting over dominance of a female mm. it's pretty cool to see though <laughs> yeah yeah a little uh it's like a, i can't do it with my hands because i'm holding this a little bromance. A little bromance. So if you see it there, there's a little, it doesn't look like a thumb, but that's called Tom's thumb. Ah, yeah, yeah, that I see it. thing that sticks up. Uh-huh. So this is McDowell? These Sorry. are the McDowell Mountains. And... Who is McDowell? I don't know. Good question. I tried to call City of Scottsdale Parks and Recreation once to ask the history of Tom's thumb, and no one knew. Everyone's like, I don't know. I don't know what this, you know. You know who knows? Who? Google. Google doesn't know. Google couldn't tell me. <laughs> That's why I called the city of Scottsdale. Google Maybe doesn't know. It. It's ridiculous. So, this is one of the nicer trailheads in Scottsdale. It's got restrooms. It's got 
little discovery center. It's got, I don't know. So you're going to give, well, I don't know. You tell me where we're it going. You're cool. the, you're the leader. The leader of the pack. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty, at, um, they want you to be off the trail by sunset. But and you got a little time. Well, they say that they'll ticket you for here after hours. Now they require you to get a permit. When I first moved here, none of that happened. Oh, look, they're shooting. Photo shoot. Oh, cool. Okay. So we're at the trailhead. The Dallas Sonoran Preserve, that's what it is. I'm gonna do a quick. Pretty cool bridge. Then you can watch the airplanes landing. Oh, it is pretty. Isn't wow. It nice? It's like more lush than some of the. Look at the jack coming in for Barrett Jackson right there. Hello, excuse us. There's a little like thingy over here. Oh, look at that. So this trail right now is fine though. It gets really rocky. So I would not recommend, <laughs> especially for people who don't normally hike. I would not recommend it for like a beginner kind of hike. But it's beautiful. It's much cleaner than uh, a lot of them I've been on. Most of them have like big rocks. This is all well, that's, that's smooth. Up there, it's oh. uh, this, I think, because it. This is the more uh, tidy place or the well, more just, clean. Well, just up until you get here. Then it gets so it gets crazy. It gets badass. Slate. Oh, look, they're shooting too. So many, so many photo shoots going down. I've never once seen a photo shoot here, and I know I've seen two. <laughs> <laughs> two in one evening. Yeah. What time of the year is it right now? I guess it's New Year's pictures. Yeah. After yes. Christmas sale. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Look <laughs> at these photographers. <laughs> the photographers are like, oh, the season's the. It's the season. Mm -hmm. the season. So Se this way. Holidays are over. Let's create a sale to get somebody it's to the come back after in. After New Year's sale. Yeah, after. You want to hold? You just let it run all yeah. the time. Oh yeah. Excuse us. Maybe it's senior pictures. Maybe it's that way. <laughs> this one of these cactuses or cact what is it? Is cacti one or cactus? Cactus supposedly cacti is not the correct way. However, it depends on where you look. It's cactus. Cactus it does not means sound plural, right? So it's supposed to be cactuses. Or cac Cacti, isn't it? I don't know. Anyways. Just look it up, tell me. You know who will know? One of these. Google. Yeah. Google. Google. Is, so something like this is what careful, I got. Careful, no, careful, careful, careful. They, they can actually jump, right? Is no. it static electricity or something? What, isn't there something like that? Have you like not that? learned about a jumping cat, a choya? No. So they look like teddy bears, right? Yeah, I've gotten these in my finger before. Oh, you have? Yes, yeah, when I was really... 12. But what, what happens? Okay. So they're not really jumping, but they when they go in, supposedly they... They keep coming, yeah. Yeah, they're, they ex not expand, but the front end of them is thinner than the back end. So it's like... It's Sucking into your hand? Yeah, and they're hard to get out. Yeah, yeah. But be careful of those. Well, I had those. And you'll get them on your shoe, and they'll go all the way through to your foot. Like yeah. those? Yeah, this is what I picked up. We picked them up as children. Yeah. And we had them in our hands. Ow! Like, like Chinese finger yeah. trap things. And then we were like, ah, on both hands. Yeah. Eww. And they had to literally tear them off with, they used the... Pliers? No, no. They used sunglass. Tape. No, like a sunglass holder. Something oh. you'd wear behind your head to hold your sunglasses. Oh, like the croaky thing? Yeah, the croakies. They would, they, they wrapped that through and tore them out of our hands with that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. I had a thistle... Uh, still in my hand like a year later oh, it was yeah. so deeply buried yes yeah, so you avoid those um they're everywhere 
they literally, and then the wind can pick up those like tiny little ball things that got in your hand and grow them everywhere. So you'll just see fields, not fields, but you know, like scattered areas. Scattered everywhere, yeah. This is really beautiful. Isn't this pretty? It's more like lush and consistent than. Yeah. Well, it's you step outside of like all the traffic and. I'm so there. Yeah, thanks. And um, you just kind of get a broader view. Like you can see Camelback right there. It's kind of hard to see because there's a little bit of maybe smoke or something. And you can see Pastua Peak, and you can see you know McDowell's this way. So it's nice to get out of the city, I think. So yeah, nice little walk. It's gorgeous. I'm glad you took me here because it gives me, uh, I need to go and explore more of the areas around here and oh, yeah. find spots that uh, I want to regularly come to when I come back. Yeah, well I, uh, I've done a lot of that, a lot of that. So I can recommend you to a lot of places. Random park explorations? Even not even just parks, like just areas where I know I can park a car and it won't get towed or it won't get ticketed. And just like random little offset. I don't know, I've done a lot. <laughs> a lot. You're like a van life's uh, yeah, that's what it's favorite like. person. Yep. Yeah, they have these everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. And, like, wow, I've, I really haven't seen them. Like, this is the most... I gotta take a picture of this. Hang on. Something that's soft. Super soft. Like you just wanna hug it? Yeah. Right? But they're not friendly. Alright, that's enough. Any thoughts? It looks oh cuddly gosh. and painful at the same time. Yeah, but you wouldn't know that it's painful. Oh my gosh, another photog. <laughs> this is pricey. So many photographers. Hi, excuse us. Are you walking through a photo shoot? No, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Yes, but go ahead. Okay, sorry, excuse us. Spontaneous. You, Thank you. So good. I guess a lot of people come here from out of town. Mm. And they get their photos taken. Like, this. like the, I remember growing up in the Midwest, we'd go to Florida for vacation sometimes because it was drivable. And you'd see like the families getting their photos on the beach. Like, <laughs> yeah. Florida Beach, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So. We made it. We made it here. We're alive. And look at this beautiful beach. And this sunny day that's going to only be here for like one day out of this six day excursion. <laughs> So tell me about this uh, this cacti. Oh, I'm wow. staying here for reference. Look at that hair. Cool. Yeah, this hair Jeremiah is. Jeremiah has really great hair. I'm cutting my hair. I was supposed to get a cut today at two o'clock. Why didn't you? I don't know, because I have conflicting innards that I'm. My inner being is is uh, is in conflict. And that's I, okay. I want to cut it, and I don't want to cut it. Look how it, it's so lush. <laughs> Look at it. It's, Shake it around. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Like a photo shoot right there with the sun. It's so oh, pretty. That's crazy. So yeah, I just I keep it rolling because well, one because I keep hitting my mic. No. Um. Somebody, yeah. I heard that yep. recently. They were like, just keep your camera rolling. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, you never know. You catch a little funny club. Yeah. Something, something. If they stumble across some kind of animal, which usually happens. It's pretty fun. So far, nothing though. So bushes, like the inner, inner twine, like these kinds of bushes would be something right here. That's where like snakes would hang out. Uh, right now it's pretty chilly, so I think they're in their holes in the ground. But they come out usually in the mornings to get sun. So they'll lay like, completely straight across. I didn't know this much. There's these little signs that teach you all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. It's a nature trail. It's true, right? <laughs> <laughs> the trees of Bajada. I have no idea. The Bajada Nature Trail. That's where Seven we are. Stop 
Oh, hey, and there's even a true and false quiz. Okay, ask me one. I'm going to answer it. True or false? Tree rings are used to determine the age of desert trees. Oh, desert trees. I'm going to go with the non-obvious, which would be false. False. Desert trees go in and out of dormancy more than once a year. Therefore, growth oh. rings do not reflect their age. Interesting. Interesting. So that's interesting. And that brings me to a point that things here in the desert, as far as I know, YouTube, um, bloom four times a year. Huh? Did you know that? No. Me but that's 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 a, that's a that's a solid nugget. Right. I have a, another one here. Okay. Desert mistletoe will kill the tree on which it's growing. True. You know this. Yes. No. False. Desert mistletoe is not as harmful as mistletoe in other climates oh. and rarely kills the host. I totally thought that it was a um, what's it called species uh, invasive species. <laughs> you already saw it. Giant pea plants. I'm oh, my allergy. Palo Verde. What is Palo Verde again? Is that the one that smells good? Mm, it's the green one. That oh, one. here. Yeah. The desert smells like. Creosote. Oh, yeah. What is creosote? I thought that's what the cum Is that what bushes. you burn? <laughs> the, uh, that's what, that's what I've read. Rain washes resin off the chrysa. Huh, no, yeah, not. it is. It's, true. It's. Uh, Here's the last one. Kay. True or false, the wood of ironwood trees is so heavy that it sinks in water. True. There you go. You ironwood is wood very too. dense and easily sinks in water. But would make sense ironwood. Iron is huh, I guess that's why it's called ironwood, huh? Mm -hmm. Go figure. Go figure. Your turn. It's my turn to hold the camera. You've got a really even good though camera. I don't know where it's at. A good angle. Mm -hmm. Good angle. It's, it's hurts the arm, right? <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet, but. Well, then you need to hold it more. <laughs> so. Lots of rocks. Oops, too far. So Jessica, yes. what do you uh, see as your? I don't know. What do you hope for in 2020? Oh gosh. Hope for goals. 2020. Desires, initiatives. You know, that's a pretty, pretty hard hitting question. Um, I hope to grow my YouTube. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now down below. Uh, 2020, I don't know. I, can't, I don't have a very solid answer other than this decade. I hope to buy my own condo or house or something that I own outright that's so, my goal so ownership my ownership yeah I want to have ownership of something okay and awesome that will be my a foundation stability so that I've been looking for for a long 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 oh, he's been and is that in Arizona yeah good for him uh, I don't know everyone it's needs a good meditation shot right um, yeah what about you Ooh, good question. Face. Good question. <laughs> what 2020 holds? Uh, 2020. I think for me, 2020. Yeah, I guess getting uh, launching my podcast and some of my initiatives. Yeah. Uh, maybe my YouTube channel. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Yeah, I, I'd say some 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 adventures. But right now, I'm still in the healing mode. So heal up my back. That's a pretty major one. Not. Uh, not overdo it again that's yeah. my den tendency that's that's some big ones i'd say 2020 is is yeah kind of creating some uh stability yeah. as well i've been on the road kind of on and off for like four years and that's been long yeah and uh you were in Bali for how long well i've been on and off three times okay so oh, okay. two and a half years on and off okay um probably spent about 12 months there total or 14 15 months total in the past two and a half years wow so yeah it's a great spot but um you know i like the u.s and some of the things that we have here and yeah. i don't know i'm going to be exploring some of the areas that i haven't been to yet i've been meaning to hike norway for quite a while oh, i'd love to cool. do that this summer yeah um but we'll see 
Hello. You look great. <laughs> Doing great. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah, 2020 is... Mine's kind of a big question mark, like a TBD. Yeah, there's a lot of unknowns. I think I need yeah. to get some more clarity about things. Yeah, and so, and I, and I say the same thing. I'm like, I, you know, I want to get more clarity. And then I realize that life happens when I'm busy making other plans. So there's so many... Let me go this way. Back to the trailhead. So there's so many times where I've been like, okay... I think that I'm going to head this direction or this direction and yeah. something happens and then it's completely rerouted and it's great because it works out obviously right because I'm here and alive and well oops sorry sorry to the cord that I just hit <laughs> but I don't know maybe 2020 is just going to be like along for the ride whatever happens happens and the planning is maybe more of a waste of time than it is uh, serving yeah. me well. Yeah, so. yeah, it's a tendency I have is I project too much. And like, then it starts to put pressure on things yeah. when it's really no pressure at all. No. There has to be no reason for it, but. That's close. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous sky tonight. Yeah. Hello. So trail etiquette in Arizona, I've learned, it's pretty interesting because being from the Midwest, there's a certain mentality. I, I feel like Midwesterners, we, we stop or we'll talk to people, we say hi, <laughs> we look at people in the eye. And when I first started hiking in Arizona, I would come up across people who look straight down. And I was like, what did I do wrong? Like, this person doesn't, you know, but it has nothing to do with that. It's just a different mentality. People who are typically, not everyone, from my experience, I can usually tell a Midwesterner from like a good 400 feet away because they look up, they look at, you know, they say hello. So I think what you should do is, can I add on to that? Sure. The next time you see somebody laying or looking down, uh -huh. say, do you mind me asking, where are you originally from? Sure. Did you grow up in Arizona or That's the East part. Coast? Yeah. It'd be interesting to see like where like they're to from. I would see that, yeah. And the, you know, some you, people, you seem like a curious, curious enough person. You would actually, you would actually follow through on this. Yeah, I would. <laughs> and see, and then some people are like, well, I, you know, I just got, off, I could see them from before I got off work, and now I really just this is my time to just talk to no one, and I understand that, you know. So, some people just may not want to be. It's their one time before they go home to their wife and kids, or <laughs> husband and kids, and yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. I can understand and respect that. I want to know what that's, what flash she has in there. There's no cords. That's beautiful though. Wow, look at this sunset. I know, isn't it cool? Want to do a pan? Yeah, here. Arm tight? No, just. Let's go this way. Ah, amazing. Hi, cool. Let's make this the thumbnail. Let air get back in there. Get Hold on. Water. Use it all. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. I like that. You take a picture during it. Yeah. yeah. You can always tell whenever I'm taking the picture because it gets real quiet and I'm <laughs> looking at the camera and then I smile or do something silly with my face and then I continue on. <laughs> Allergies. Woo! I thought you were <laughs> blowing your nose on no, me. No, that's. I'm just talking about how my my sinuses have now been infil infiltrated. By just now? Whatever. We'll just. Yeah. 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 See, I've never had allergies like me that. Me neither. Until I moved here, and it wasn't until about a year in. Really? Yeah. I went to a doctor, and I was, I felt like crap and I'm you, like I'm uh, prone to sinus infections I had ear troubles when I was a kid and so they put me on antibiotics so one round and then I went back for a second round because it wasn't gone and then after that oh sharp shine sorry sharp shine Manny at sharp shine <laughs> he detailed my boat before I sold it this guy this this company is awesome mobile detailing just a heads up hey Manny and Manny senior 
See? Manny. Seguera. Seguera. There Manny, we go. Manny. I'll see you. Anyways. Um, yeah, I went back for a third time. It was like, this sinus infection's not gone. Then she's like, you have allergies. It's like, mm. what? What? Not, I mean not, I have allergies. Not, not me. No. Not this specimen said, of... And then I went through the whole spiel. Well, I've never had allergies until I moved to Arizona. And she's like, I hear it all the time. Huh. Typically a year in. Wow. Look all these private jets coming in. I'm assuming for Derek Jackson. When is that? It starts, I think, the 10th or the 11th. How long does it go? Seven days, I think. I've always wanted to see that. Oh, it's... Yeah, you should go. It's fun. Well, I went last year. Look at the sky. Oh my god. Let's go Here, where this. there's a cactus and we'll take a picture. Take the other I thing uh, <laughs> the other thing happening soon is um, Tom Bailu from Im Impact Theory is coming on the 17th. Oh really? Okay, so right. wouldn't mind seeing him. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's real. I mean this. This is amazing. Isn't it cool? It's all about, in my opinion, desert sunsets are all about the higher that you can get without obstructions, you know. The best, well, so I think could you be up there? Oh, what's yeah, the best? For what's sure. the best? What's the best sunset view in all of Phoenix? What angle? Oh, what gosh. what hill would you want to be on looking at other hills? Tell us that. That that's a juicy nugget mm, right there. I don't know about sunsets, but I've done a lot of sunrises at Piastoa Peak, which is also known as Squaw Peak. But apparently that's a racist term now, so now they're using Piesto Peak, which is right there. It's got kind of like a smoothish, kind of looks like a, like a I don't know. There's the most the, 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 the round one of those. Yeah, the highest. Yeah, the highest point right there with the round, because that's Camelback over there, and that's the Phoenix Mountain Preserve there. I don't know if we can point it out here. Probably it's probably not big enough it. in the. Piesto has the best sunrises because it comes up. Um, sunsets. I mean, some some of the Phoenix sunsets, you don't even have to see the sun going down. It's really just after the, the after sky. Them. Yeah. The and if they're like these are going to turn purple and pink, you know, here shortly. So I don't know, but and then look at the light on the mountains behind us. Oh yeah. Cool. And then it, get, it gets really dark. Like really I gotta dark. take one shot here. Kind of looks like something funny. Which one? Well, it's like a little. Oh yeah, it does. It totally, <laughs> it totally does. Looks like a vagina. Right, very far apart. There goes the sun. Look at that. It goes. Pretty. There it goes. Goodbye, sun. See you tomorrow, hopefully. And the light on the mountains behind me. It's from McDowell Mountains. It's so pretty. Oh, there goes the sun. And just like that, it's gone. Boom. As soon as the sun sets, it drops a good, I don't know, 10 degrees probably. And it gets chilly and then it gets dark. That's what's forewarning for us. You're hiking in the desert and the sun is setting, unless you know <laughs> your way around the trail and have done it many times, I'd recommend heading back to wherever you came from, your car or your house or wherever, as soon as possible.
Okay, let's, let's say goodbye. There's the sun behind us. That's really pretty. All right. Hope you enjoyed our little walk. But thanks for joining me, Jeremiah. Well, thank I you for having it. me. And um, when he has a channel, I'll link that below so you can go follow him. Yeah. He does have an Instagram, though. Yeah, yeah. Do Jeremiah you, Rig. Can you spell it? J E R E M I A H R Y G H. That's the full name. Is that the handle? That's the handle. Okay. So. Or you can go to my. I actually have my YouTube channel up right now. If you just Google say. Vibrant or just search Vibrant Life, it's with a Y. V Y B R A N T Life. Vibrant Life. Go follow that. I'll uh, link it below. So until next time, see you guys. Stay tuned for the next super exciting <laughs> video like this. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. See Bye. Ya.